Well, the Astros are on the road to the World Series. Tomorrow, the team takes on the Boston Red Sox for game one of the ALDS. And today, fans kicked off postseason play with what else? A pep rally. It was a sea of orange on the steps of City Hall with a lot of Stroh's pride. And you can bet it's going to be a similar sight tomorrow at Minute Maid Park. And with thousands of fans set to pack the stands, parking downtown is going to be challenging to say the very least. But our Jonathan Martinez is getting some sound advice from fans and Channel 2 viewers. Yep, about we are curious, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, you know what they really are. The last thing you want to think about when you come to enjoy a game, where exactly am I going to park? How much is it going to cost me this time? So this evening, we went ahead and made the rounds for you, did a little price comparison to give you some options. The Astros are division champs. With excitement building for a postseason run by the Astros, many fans can't wait to get to game one against the Red Sox. We're very excited to go all the way. We've had season tickets and so this is an awesome experience. So let's talk about parking possibilities for the game because you've got a lot of options. First one up, private parking lots. You'll find them near and around Minute Maid Park and likely the closer you are, the more you'll pay. But do be mindful, they can fill up fast. Second on the list, ride sharing programs like Uber. There's actually a special drop off spot near center field. The price here depending on where you're coming from, but you don't have to fight traffic to find a spot. Third up, Parking Panda or other similar apps. After downloading, you can actually view maps in available lots, even pay and reserve your guaranteed spot before ever heading out. Last on the list is Metro Rail. You can park at a designated spot along Metro Rail's purple or green line. The ride is free with a valid game ticket. Otherwise, it'll only cost you a couple of bucks. You could park off site and then just take the light rail into town and you know, when you leave, just take the light rail back to your car and then you don't have to deal with all this. No matter where you plan to park, if you're lucky enough to be going to the game, many say get here with time to spare and make a day of it. So we're hoping to get out here early enough that we can get a good parking spot and get into the game early enough. Come early and uh, stay late. Now we also took to Facebook to ask our viewers if perhaps you have any tips or maybe some secret spots that we don't even know about. A lot of viewers responded. We invite you to check out that page and perhaps add some if you know about some that we don't know about still. For a look at some maps around this area, just look for this story on our website, click2houston.com. We're reporting live tonight from Minute Maid Park. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.